Last day in Verbia. Thought I'd give these guys at Sun God a present. I only really want to fly home with this. <laughs> when the sweet powder comes down again, straight just winter, us straight on that. You don't need to I'll send you a video of me skiing with this in winter. Yes. Actually, maybe I'll put a snowboard on for that day because snowboards are home. After the fun of yesterday's video, a lot of you viewers will be pleased to know that today we are riding road bikes. I'm here with Dougal and the other guys from Sun God. And where are we going? The Valley of Death. We're going to the Valley of Death. We're going to go to a very big dam. About 50k to ride. We're in good hands. We've got a local guide with us. A um, couple of other ambassadors. Ioni's there. Chris is there. Ben's gone home. Sad. Beautiful day. Perfect weather. Dougal, the suspension is not working on my on my bike. Sponge like no. The guide they brought is too good. Yeah, it's way too good. <laughs> they brought the leanest man to <laughs> tow us up a mountain. Yeah. Just fresh off the back of like a mountain bike stage race. Someone that weighs like 50 kilos or something. <laughs> I left my bike packing bags on my forks. <laughs> what a stupid idea. A couple of big differences from yeah. the rides that we have been doing to this ride. Yeah. People. One, we now have new sunglasses. Yes. Two, we haven't got bags on our bikes. Yeah, it feels weird. Yeah. Oh my God, look there how wobbly it is. Isn't number three. It's really hard to ride, isn't it? Oh, man. It immediately did that massive descent. And without bags, your brain gets used to having bags on the bike. So you try to put more effort into leaning and everything. And, and then, then you, you switch back. Or yeah, it. literally, I'm going into corners so early. Anyway, we are now on a climb, which is a lot safer. Following the guy who's way too strong. Yeah, I'm not following him, I'm chilling. <laughs> Best and worst tour guide in the world, because he's too strong. I've just realized. What? Google's got odd socks. Well, I have one sock, but you can have two. You can have three if you really want it. Really? We're going to Mubazan Dam, which is something like the fifth biggest dam in Europe or the world or something. Someone in the comments will correct you now. Someone will. Yeah. Please do. And it's a really tall dam. And we're going to stand on top of it. There's some big waterfalls. Jump in. Uh, <laughs> you'll never get out, but... <laughs> and we'll stop for an ice cream. Oh, yeah. Because ice cream is important. That's why I'm here. Oh, yeah, actually, okay. Just like, a bit. Uh, if you can see, but do you remember we mentioned Via Ferrata? Yeah. So, can you see all these like ropes and pegs? Yeah. So, you like clip on and basically follow like a clipped on semi climbing route. Yeah, 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 and you follow the ravine up and you cross the wire bridge. That'd be right up your street, Chris. I oh, mean, oh. I'm keen. You, you'd cross that and yeah. you'd be like, ah. Oh, mate, when we going? Heights. When we going? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chris Ross. Yeah, you can see that. It's like, uh, it's like Go Ape. Yeah, like Go Ape up the yeah. cliff. This is okay. It's a like really dangerous Go Ape, yeah. It's not dangerous. There's a ladder there. Yeah, so you ladder out and you go along and you get to the bridge. The, the next section is gnarly. I got halfway across the bridge and then the, the, the heavens just opened. And I was there, I was like, I should turn around, this isn't safe. I feel like you do a lot of uh, stuff that most people would consider unsafe, Dukes. They're far too safe. You've got two carabiners. Carabiners, you clipped on. just two of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's where James Bond jumps off the edge. That's crazy. Look at the colour of the water. That was definitely worth the climb. That got pretty spicy at times, especially uh, at his pace. It's a bit too much effort, but that one that spikes out of there, you, it, it basically has been tunneled to a lake at the top of the mountain. And you can stand on like a pathway as, it, as the tunnel shoots under you. Right. And so like all of that water, which is moving so quickly, just goes <laughs> underneath you. And if you drop a stone in it, it's like How do you like Switzerland, Francis? It's quite nice. It's all right, isn't it? Yeah. It's not bad. Quite nice. Let's reach it. Yeah. You love this? Yeah, it's okay. Yo, insane. <laughs> <laughs> if you should drop your camera, you can only say goodbye to it. Mm. You're not getting it. Yeah. 180 mil travel. Yeah, I reckon you could land it. So apparently, a bit of tourist info for you. If this dam breaks, the whole 
Up the valley up to Verbier, we'll be underwater. What about Verbier? We'll be high, you'll be high. Verbier will be okay. Chris will be all right in his rubber ring. Yeah, that's so, your rubber ring now. Well, true. Yeah, well, I uh, do go. Lord. <laughs> Welcome to Route du Soleil. That was a lovely descent from the dam. Unfortunately, we're staying in Verbia, which is halfway up a mountain. So we have to climb up halfway up a mountain. Up that. Uh, yeah, legs are great. <laughs> when I say that, that's a lie. It's yes. On the plus side, as we get higher, it will get cooler. Maybe. In theory. Check out this, you thought the pizza vending machine was good. Cheese vending machine. They're not like small cheeses either, are they? They are. Yeah. A drunken night out, people. Stop. That'll make you feel better or worse other than like worse. Cheese hangover is like awful. If you smash a couple of pots of fondue, the next day you'll just wake up with like like a baby in your in your stomach of congealed cheese. But it's really important that you have really high strength alcohol straight after eating because it breaks up all the cheese. Oh. And to drink white wine. You know your stuff. Uh, I eat a lot of cheese. Yeah. It was good fun, huh? Oh no, I used it all up earlier. Nothing. Nothing. Hey, oh, I'm cool as a cookie cart. Oh, you just feel all right. You gotta drink it now. Safe to say, verbia for road cycling, very, very good. Also, very good for pastries as well. <laughs> so, right done and dusted. Uh, somehow it's like 6 pm and the whole day is gone. It seems to happen here in Verbia quite a lot. We didn't have lunch for some reason, so I'm extra hungry. We kind of did that bikepacking trip and got here. Yeah. And then we did like an eight hour mountain bike day. And then we rode today on road bikes and did 2000 meters. Yeah. So I feel quite tired, Chris. That's how I feel. Yeah. I, well, I'm thinking about food. <laughs> <'Cause> I, <laughs> mentioned, yeah. I mentioned food. I did enjoy today's ride, nice and chilled. I reckon that would be a tough one to Everest, that one actually. <laughs> to you? Yeah. Long. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's not do that one. Although if we do, let's just do one. One Everest, yeah. Over the course of a week, yeah. A thousand meters, just over a thousand Hello. meters. Hello. You're gonna see Badger in a second. I love Badger. <laughs> Hello. We are now going to a place which is just known as yeah, the pub. The pub. The pub. The pub. You're so wrong. You're nice. <laughs> Look it up on YouTube. In today's vlog, we talk about dogs. Is this going to be about behind. Badger? This whole episode. Yeah. He we is. can do a dedicated episode if that's what people want. He is the best, yeah. Vote for Badger. Says the robot. For one Badger, they will have Badger. <laughs> you better not be leaving me here. Oh, so good. 